Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing numeric data. This is standard 6.12c in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 34 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a dot plot, and there are 20 students represented on this dot plot. But take a look at how we have to describe this data. We have to use the term median and interquartile range, sometimes called the IQR. So in order to do that, I think the easiest way to do it is I'm just going to pull this data off the dot plot, still keeping it in order. I've got three zeros, I've got two ones, and I've got three threes, reason I'm going to do this is because we need to figure out what is the median or what is the middle point of this data. And we're also going to need to figure out the quartiles. We need to break these into chunks, four equal chunks, and it's just going to be a little bit easier if I can do that with all the data pieces off our graph. So if we're looking at the median, so median here, think of median as when you're driving down a large road and there's at least two lanes going in each direction sometimes there will be like a strip of either trees light posts or maybe just concrete in the middle of both of those lanes to kind of keep those lanes separate that's actually called the median so think of that as the median so we're looking for the midpoint so how do we split this 20 in half well if we count up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, if we count right here, this is my median. And the reason I know it's my median is because on the left side, I've got 10 numbers. And on the right side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I've also got 10 numbers. So I'm literally just looking at the midpoint. Now, our median actually falls between two numbers because it's an even number data set. If it were an odd number, then the median would actually be a number, and that's pretty simple. So I need to find what's the midpoint between 4 and 4. Now, between 4 and 4, it's simply going to be 4. Sometimes your median is actually going to be a number that's not even on the data set. So let's say, like, if you have a data set and your median falls right in between 6 and 8. Well, you're going to have to find what comes in between 6 and 8 right in the middle, and it would end up being 7. In this case, it's pretty easy. So my median is going to be 4. And take a look. I can go ahead and eliminate this. Eliminate this. Now, the interquartile range is a little bit different. IQR. We see this range. Regular range, right, is the largest number how far away it is from the smallest number, but we're looking at interquartile. Our Q here is quartile, quarters. So when we break something up into quarters, we're going to break something up into four sections. I've already broken up my data set into half. So I'm going to break up each half in half, and I'm going to get four quarters. So half of 10, well, that's going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. So here's my first quarter right there. Let me do the same with the, with the back side. One, two, three, four, five. So that's right here. So I need to find my quartile numbers because each quartile now has five equal parts. And that's just the key with making interquartiles is you need to make sure you've got four equal parts of the data set. Well, this third quartile, so this one's easy. I'll start with this. This is my third quartile. And look, it's right in between seven and seven, so that's easy. We're just going to make that seven. The tricky part is right here, this first one. This first one is right in between 1 and 3. Now, you know what's in between 1 and 3. That's going to be 2. So let me just kind of put that up here. My first is going to equal 2. So my first quartile is 2. My third quartile is 7. My second quartile, which is my median, we already know that. That's 4. The interquartile range is the difference between the third minus the first. So 7 minus 2, that's going to give me 5. So my, my interquartile range is 5, and my answer is G. F is incorrect because this is the actual range, not the interquartile range.